short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to create an infographic. Now you know that infographics have become very popular on the web because they are a wonderful tool that you can use to graphically display information and share it on all the social media sites. You know, we don't like to read. Uh, we, we scan material. We skip over material. So an infographic is a, a way that we can graphically uh, deliver the information that you want to get across to your target audience with as little text as possible. So there are other sophisticated programs that you can use to create infographics, such as Pick to Chart. But if you already own PowerPoint and you know how to use PowerPoint, don't overlook this uh, valuable tool. And I'm going to show you in this tutorial, I'm assuming that you already know how to create slides in PowerPoint. But I'm going to give you some ideas and then I'm going to show you how that you would then save your slides as an image and then open up an online, a free online editorial program. You copy each slide into that editorial program to create your infographic. So let's get started. You would begin by opening up PowerPoint and giving your infographic a title. My infographic was just how to create an infographic using PowerPoint. So you would research, of course, your topic, study your data, and be able to uh, put that information in very uh, graphical form with as little text as possible. So we're going to give our infographic a title and select color schemes and then start building your infographic with PowerPoint slides. And I have kept mine uh, PowerPoint for this infographic to five slides. And I would suggest that you keep yours to five or six slides. Stick to one topic of information. And you see I've used KISS, which you know is keep it simple. And that last S is stupid. Of course, my mama taught me not to say that word, but we're going to keep it very simple. We won't, do not want our infographic to be too cluttered. Now, I know a lot of them out there are, but I tend to skip over those, don't you? I like to keep mine simple. So gather what information you think, decide on a color scheme, set your background, and then uh, create your slides, keeping them uh, simple, tell your story, and use good design. Now, some of what you might want to use in your PowerPoint uh, uh, the different graphics that you can use, different objects, and you can also, of course, insert your own graphics. So gather, gather all the information you need, be creative, include different shapes, maps, charts, or diagrams. Of course, it all depends on what you're trying to, the message you're trying to get across. And then, of course, don't forget to credit your sources. Always give credit where credit's due. It, it, it doesn't speak well of your credibility if you don't uh, uh, cite the people that uh, you use their information. And then you might want a call to action. What do you want to happen as a result of the person reading your infographic? Do you want them to click on a link? Do you want them to go and vote? Uh, do you want them to contact you? So be sure that you have a call to action. And then, then I'm going to show you then how to save each slide. And it's very important that you save each slide image as a .png. We want a .png for the clearest image on the web. We're going to save each slide into a program, PIXL. Now let's save each of our slides as a .png image. Okay, file, save as, and I would recommend that you create a folder to put each of your slides in just so that it will be easier for you to find. So I'm going to click new folder and um, how to create an infographic, name of my folder, press enter. I'm going to open that folder and I'm just going to save it there on my desktop. And I'm going to name the first slide 
just going to um, go through that. Slide one. Now, save as type. This is what you want to be sure to change. You want to save it as a .png. It's a ping, portable network graphics format. Choose that option and click save. And it's going to ask me, do, I, do you want to export every slide in the presentation or only the current slide? Do you only want this current slide only? We need to save each one separate. Current slide only. Okay, go through this process for each of your five slides. Save all five slides into that format. And I'm going to show you how to open it up in our, our editor, online program to edit those photos into an infographic. Okay, now I've opened up Pixlr, P I X L R dot com slash editor. Okay, and I'm ready to open my image from the computer. So open from computer, go to your folder where you've saved each one of your slides as a dot PNG object. Choose just slide one and open that object. Now, when it's opened, we want to edit the image. Let's go down at the bottom left and change this percentage uh, to 20%. And then we're going to uh, click on image and go to canvas size. And you know, most all infographics are taller, one and a half, two times taller, maybe three times taller than the width. We're going to change our height. Let's go all the way over with this slider to um, the most pixels we can get for our height. And we can always go back 4,000 pixels. We can always go back and crop any leftover blank space after we insert our slides. And then click OK. All right. Now you see how this is starting to um, get ready to be an infographic. So we have slide one in uh, on our canvas. We want to go file, open image, and we're going to open slide two. Click on slide two, open. Now it's kind of scary at first because there you go, slide two is on slide one. But don't panic. Click slide two and then control A. We'll see how control A puts a selection around this slide. Now, control C, copies, see how that copies to my clipboard. Click back on to my slide one, slide one, control V to paste. Okay, good deal. Now, I can you see this little move to? I can use my move to to slide this around if I need to like this. And that's all it is to it. You're going to do that for all of your slides. Just copying and pasting them in. Let me do one more just to be sure you've got it. Okay? File. Open image. This time we want slide three. Right? Slide three. Open. It drops it in there on top of everything. Control A. We'll, well, let it click on it first. Click on it first. Control A. See how that selects that image? Control C. We'll copy. Click back over here, click on right there, control V to paste, drops it on top of it, but don't worry about that, just get, make sure your move tool is selected and drag it down into the proper place. See, it's very easy. And when you get through, you just crop off. If you have any blank space at the bottom, down at the very bottom, if you have any blank space, you will... Um, just crop that off. Right now, don't don't worry that that looks too small right now because remember, we're just on 27%. It's going to look great. Then all you have to do is save it and it's going to be a .png object and you are ready to uh, post it into your blog or share it all over um, the social media world. Let me know if you have any problems or any questions.